All right, <clears throat> guys, uh, rarely do I ever, I mean, I don't think I've ever revisited a song, but I did say to you, I want to go back and check out Lyrical Lemonade, yeah, Lyrical Lemonade, goddamn, Lyrical Lemonade, Doomsday Part 2 with Eminem, because, dude, after watching Drink Chaps, Champs, and then now I'm seeing Benzino, go on rampages again he's trying to diss mercury he's talking about his weight he says you need to look in the mirror you never lifted a weight you know you're, you're, you're whatever you failed or something like that at lifting weights and then he was like why would i <laughs> mercury's reply was like why would i it's failed like your music career and then he was supposed to do an interview with knox hill but then benzino <laughs> tried to charge knox to do the to do a uh, 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 an interview and it got me to thinking, this, this hurt Benzino a lot more than I thought. And I didn't know this either before I reacted to this. Eminem was responding to Benzino. Because Benzino was going around talking shit about Eminem once again. So Benzino asked for this. I want to go back and listen to those cadences because I remember Eminem saying... We've been on the low. Like he just he changed his cadence up to get like this real diabolical, just vicious tone in his voice that just like letting Benzino know, like, I know what's going on with you and how fucked up you are. I tore your life apart once. Don't make me do it again. Keep my fucking name out your mouth. What ends up happening? He ends up on a goddamn show, with, I don't know why his team allowed him to sit there and cry and go on a drunken rant, rant that long and go back and forth with himself. It was a really bad look, and now Benzino's sober, and he's back at it again trying to ride the wave to make more money. Dude, at this point, Benzino should be thanking Eminem because he would not be relevant if it wasn't for Eminem's name. I told you guys, Benzino has been begging for money for years on Instagram and fucking Twitter or X or whatever. I've seen the little mini clips, people laughing about it like in the studio. I felt bad for him on Drink Champs. I truly did. I put mental health before anything. But if he keeps asking for it, he's going to keep getting it. I want to revisit this track. I've only heard it twice. I heard it once with you guys, and I had my girl do a reaction with me, but I was more focused on her picking up the bars and me really paying attention to Eminem's cadences. Um, let's go back. Go like, go subscribe, show love. Uh, if you don't want to watch this with me, I totally get it, but I really want to break down the cadences and see where Eminem was coming from with the responses. Because at first I'm listening to the song. I, I don't remember how it goes, but I remember listening to it like, okay, Eminem's getting into his groove, and then he starts throwing shots, and I was like, damn, like, what the fuck? Now I know why. Now I have the complete backstory. All right, let's, let's jump into this. Uh, I love you guys. Like, subscribe, show love to Eminem. I liked this video initially. I'm um, subscribed to Eminem. What's wrong with YouTube? Make sure you still like and subscribe to these channels and stuff. I'd love to have you too. Let's go. All right. My first revisit ever on this channel, but we have to. This is a must. We have to check this out. Also, I don't think I said on the last video, let's acknowledge the fact that 24 years later, 25 years later, we got Eminem rapping on Role Model again. His original beat from the song Role Model. A different percussion pattern, more modern for today, but... It still gives me the chills to even think about. Let's re okay, let's, let's revisit this. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. A little under the weather. Fuck it. Yeah. All right, here we go. First, I'm a shredder. Verse like I had a personal vendetta. That line right there. I didn't know what he said in the beginning. All right, here we go. First, I'm a shredder. Verse like I had a personal vendetta. First time I have to shred a verse like I had a personal vendetta. Who does he have a personal vendetta vendetta, a vendetta with? Benzino. I didn't catch that the first time around. He's just saying I'm going to have to shred this beat. Like I thought he was just saying just I'm going to have to shred this beat because like, I have a personal vendetta. No, 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 no. It was a double. All right. Here we go. First time I shred a verse like I had a personal vendetta. 
personal vendetta Words come together like birds of a feather So I need a walker like Herschel I'm better than all of you fucking little twerps put together And Eminem knew something right here too I'm better than all you little twerps put together Now this is like a triple layered bar here So he's talking about people with the name Little in their name, their rap name But also he goes into uh, Who had the second verse, best verse uh, Second best verse in forever You know, I don't think it's a shot of Little Wayne But I think it's like a little bit of a nod Towards Little Wayne, but also Thirdly, he's saying I'm better than all you little twerps put together. I'm, you, dude, people in the industry know when a diss track's about to come down the tailpipe. People talk a lot. How the fuck do you think I heard about Cassidy so quickly? And then I, I got fucking dragged to, I won't say dragged to the mud, but people try to like deny my claims and shit. The next thing you know, Benzino's on Drink Chaps talking about Cassidy and shit. Then Cassidy drops a, a track, and then he j drops another track, and then takes it back. Like, it never released, but some people heard it. You see what I'm saying? Now, listen, one thing, too, I want to talk about is I said there were other people. I didn't say it was just Cassidy. I said Cassidy was laying down vocals. That's all I heard was Cassidy was there laying down vocals. Benzino walked in with a group of people, and my guy left the studio. Uh, not just him. A few other people left the studio, but one of my guys left the studio. And now there's another name going around, but be careful with listening to that because people are going to try to take credit for ghostwriting, which you can't. If you have ghostwritten a track, you cannot take credit for it. That you, You're breaking an, an NDA. So every everything that you worked for, you, you can be stripped for. You can be sued. I don't think he could be sued by Benzino, to be honest with you, at this point. I mean, if you're asking fucking reaction channels for money to do interviews. Birds of a feather, so I need a you know what? I almost want to pay. I'll pay. You know what? I'll pay that fucking fee. I'm going to talk to Knox. I'll pay that fucking fee to have talked to Benzino. Actually, I don't know. I just want to hear him scream in my ear for an hour. Because I would end up just being like, yo, here's my address. Just, <laughs> let's just do this shit, dude. Fucking let's let's revisit what happened with guy. Verse like I had. And if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Personal vendetta. Words come together like birds of a feather. So I need a walker like Herschel. I'm better than all of you fucking little twerps put together. But I'm not trying to be controversial. I'd rather talk about shit with the purpose that matters. Like who had the second best verse on forever. I like this. So he's being cocky. Like I'm not trying to be controversial. He's also paying attention to a lot of shit that's going on on YouTube and in the world. People being divisive, trying to be controversial, trying to push that boundary. And he's saying, I'm not going to do that. Let's just talk about who had the second verse on forever. So he's just being kind of like contradicting, being a dick, being an asshole, being Slim Shady. I'd rather talk about shit with the purpose that matters. Like who had the second best verse on forever. I'd rather talk about shit that matters. It really doesn't matter who had the second verse on forever. Who had the second best verse on forever. <laughs> it's fucking smart ass. Damn. Now I got a riddle. One condition, you mustn't laugh. Okay. What is the opposite of Benzino? Uh, what? A giraffe. Uh, go with his neck, how the fuck is that? Yeah. How can I go with something he doesn't have? Uh, Arms so short he can't even touch his hands. When they're up above his head doing jumping jacks. Wow. I did not realize how bad this cut Benzino. I did not realize how bad this hurt him. I had no idea what Benzino was doing on Instagram before this, dissing Eminem and talking shit and, and basically cloud chasing his own daughter. Doesn't have arms so short he can't even touch his hands when they're above his head doing jumping jacks. Wow. Sorry, I don't mean to upset you, Ben. Yeah. When I talk about all the debt you win. Just listen to that cadence. See how his voice gets a little bit more. Uh, it, it, With something he doesn't have. See how it's a little right here. It's something he doesn't have. It's more relaxed, right? But then he just puts a little bit of anger into it. Just a little bit. I'm so sure he can't even touch his hands when they're above his More bass. Sorry, I don't mean to upset you, Ben. When I talk about all the debt you win, I hear that you've been creeping on the low when them cheap hotels that they catch you in. Jesus Christ is right, dude. That's eerie as fuck. That reminds me of the Slim Shady LP. That reminds me of the uh, Marshall Mathers LP. Said doing jumping jacks. Wow. Sorry, I don't mean to upset you, Ben. Yeah. When I talk about what? all the debt you win, I hear that you've been creeping on the low when them cheap hotels yeah. that they catch you in. What? Jesus Christ, dog. Yeah. When you said to 10, what? never guess you meant yeah. at the Red Wolf Inn. And I didn't know this when you said when he said two ten. You're talking about BJ. You guys are going with the alphabetic letters. I with the numbers. I don't know that for to be a fact. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a fake reaction channel. I don't go studying shit beforehand. Um, yeah, so I get it. So BJ is what 
you guys are trying to say to me. I, I thought he meant something else, referring to something that Benzino said with 210. Benzino obviously said something with 210. That they catch you in. Jesus Christ, dog. When you said 210, never catch you. So when you said 210, I never thought you meant at the Red Roof Inn. So he's referring to something Benzino said. Again, I did not know this going into this. Oh, when them cheap hotels that they catch you in. Jesus Christ, dog. When you said 210, never catch you meant at the Red Roof Inn. Listen to the crescendo too in his voice. So he brings it down, creeping on the low, and the sheet motels that they kept you in. Then he starts building it back up for a crescendo. Listen. What kind of fuck is that? How can I go with something he doesn't have? Arms so short he can't even touch his hands. When they're above his head doing jumping jacks. Sorry, I don't mean to upset you, Ben. When I talk about all the debt you win, I hear that you've been creeping on the low. When them cheap hotels that they catch you in. Jesus Christ, dog. When you said you ten, never guess you meant at the Red Wolf Inn. In a room with one single bed to mint. Shady man, you can't. Yes, I can. God damn. It hits so much harder now after things have been brought to light. In a room with one single bed to men. Shady man, you can. Yes, you can. Like this dude has grown ass men at 60 years old crying. Not just crying, completely melting down. Again, I am here to support mental health. But now that I hear Benzino's on a frenzy trying to talk shit and charge people for interviews and stuff like that to beef with them and hopping in people's DMs attacking them, he's back on his fuck shit. So you lost all sympathy points with me. And I wanted to listen to this again to see exactly. I wanted to hear Eminem's cadences. I was so focused on the lyrics, I was not paying attention to the cadences. The red wolf in, in a room with one single bed to men. Shady man, you can. Yes, you can. Well, I guess then I regret to win for him. You hate to spoil a day. But this doesn't bring me no joy to say. Guess that Coiler Ray feats in the toilet, eh? God. Alright, now someone mentioned this too. Coiler Ray feats in the toilet. Eh? He means a feature, but someone said feats in the toilet as in like she had an abortion. I, I don't know if that's to be true, but if that is the case, that is a nasty double as well. I, I don't know if that is true. But he's from what I'm picking up is he's just saying like because Coy Ray was like yeah you know I, I I would do a track with them and them you know and then now she's like backtracking and shit like that but I guarantee she would still do a track with them and them anybody Benzino said he'd do a track with like M M he said he'd hug M M spoiler day but this doesn't bring me no joy to say guess that Coy Ray feeds in the toilet eh? God damn it damage due to flows collateral I suppose got pointed. Yeah, right there. Damage due to flows. This the cadence. Damage due to flows. Beats in the toilet, eh? God damn it. Damage due to flows. Collateral, I suppose. Got pointed like mine and Sandra Bullock's nose. Get in bullet holes. Have you full of those? You'll catch a stray like animal control. Plan a funeral. I'ma probably have to plan a funeral. Logical exams. Once again, it is off into the damn padded room I go. He's even saying it right now. I was like, dude, I, I know I'm insane. I'm fucked up. Even at this age, I will still go after all of you motherfuckers. Have you full of those? You'll catch a stray like animal control. Like, dude, he sounds so vicious here, man. This is what we need more of. I plan a funeral. I'm gonna probably have to plan a funeral. Logical exams. Once again. But now, nah, I didn't mention this in the first. Not the first reaction, I don't think, or bar breakdown was. He said, plan a funeral, plan a funeral lo logical exams, right? So he's pl saying, plan a, f plan a few new role logical exams, but also a new role, right? A new role, but also plan to roll a few new people as well, but also a new role. What's the beat called? Role model. Keep that in mind. Eminem doesn't do this shit just to, just to throw things in there. Plan a funeral. I'm gonna probably have to plan a funeral. Logical. So it's a new role model verse over his beat. Exams. Once again, it is off into the damn padded room. I go right toward the upside. Lum at a psych ward because I strangled you with a mic cord because my fucking mind's more than I'm on my Pegasus, my high horse, and I'm fly. Yeah. Bitch, I soar like a sty. You probably feel like you're gonna die because you're in my morgue and you're tied up like a tight score. And that's why I'm back with Cole. And you're tied up like a So that's what I'm saying. So you hear him here kind of being braggadocious. That evil cadence is no longer there. Completely changed. It's gone. Now this is being braggadocious, Sam. 
you know, just dropping bars of Pegasus line with, you know, uh, eye sore like a sty, pig sty. Bitch, eye sore like a sty. You probably feel like you're gonna die. Cause you're in my morgue and you're tied up like a tie score. And that's why. You're tied up like a tie score and that's why. I'm back with Cole Bennett and I been it. The level J Cole Bennett. It's aftermath that I ride for till I die. I didn't even think about that either. Tied up and talking about strangling him with the mic cord as well. Yeah. Like I said, I, I had to go back and revisit this. I was not paying attention to the cadences. I did not have the full story in front of me. And now that I do, I realize how fucking damaging this this was. You can go ahead, go back and listen to Rap Elvis again. Please, go. It's not as good as people thought it was. I think, I think it was the initial shock that Benzino was rapping that way. And everybody knew something was up. Even on Volturius, I was like, mm, this is better than anything I've ever heard before, especially that proof bar. And you heard a lot of motherfuckers from Detroit come out and be like, yo, like that shit. Mm -mm. Even Cassius, he, he, he roasted his ass and basically was like, everyone got the green light now. You know, like, you really don't you don't want to speak ill on the dead and I'm doing that right here with fucking Benzino but yeah man I I uh I had to revisit this I wanted to check out the cadences anything I listen to or watches with you guys at this point guys I, I don't like to do only thing I listen to on my own is podcasts or audiobooks uh, music wise if I listen to it with you I'm got so much shit going on that I don't retain it so this is this is pretty easy for me to do, or easier for me to do than if I was listening to it on my own. I'm sit there, I'll sit there and study it for hours. Um, his cadences were vicious, and he switched them up multiple times, at least like five or six times. And when he starts getting when he starts getting that diabolical voice, that 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 fucking just like grit your teeth type shit, you don't want that problem with Eminem, dude. You don't want that problem with Slim Shady. Now, people have been asking me stupid fucking questions. Now, people have been asking me about Eminem dropping a project. I personally think you're going to see something in the next couple months. Just throwing that out there. I could be wrong, but I have a feeling something's coming down the pipeline now. Just, it is what it is. Um, which I would love to see. I would love to see uh, this man's got nothing left to prove at this point, but I know he's also working with new artists right now and trying to get them going and putting them on, which he's always working. He treats this shit like a nine to five in the studio at, you know, eight, nine o'clock in the morning, leaves at five and goes about his day. Smart way to actually do it. I wish I would, can, I wish I could do it that way, but can't. Um, but yeah, man, I wanted to go back and check this out. Thanks for watching this with me. This was a revisit. And I, I, I had to check out the cadences because I remembered the bars, but I don't remember the way Eminem was delivering them. But like that, we've been on the low and the sheet motels that they kept you in. Like, dude, that hurt him bad, bad. Like to the point where you would go on a podcast and just fall apart completely. In front of the world, like I get it, you're drunk or you know you, you know where you're at, you know you're on camera. What are you doing? Like you can't be that drunk and just forget that you're in front of a camera. So now it almost makes me feel like he's playing to the crowd for sympathy, and then a day or two later he's insulting other artists that I'm cool with and sending them DMs trying to be mean and shit. No, 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 no. Now, now you don't get that fucking sympathy pass from me. Now we're going to revisit this. We're going to relive this. I'll fucking react to this every fucking day for the next 365 days. I won't be that petty, but yeah, man. Um, and then you, 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 try, you try to charge a friend of mine fucking for an interview. What the fuck is wrong with you? You, you approached him and he roasted you on a fucking track. Knox, if I wasn't supposed to share that information, I'm sorry. I just, we were talking, I seen it in the group chat, and I was like, what? I was like, he tried to charge this dude for a fucking interview? And that even shows you what Eminem's saying, like, and I, I heard about all the debt you win. Eminem's got receipts. Eminem's got receipts. And they're now, at this point, guys, there's, 
you you can hop in my there's people who's, who are gonna hate on me they're gonna hop in my comment session talking about benzino kills your rap God, dude he whatever benzino did this benzino did that benzino also just cried for eminem and wished for them to be friends and come together and give him a hug so if you want to talk about how he slayed eminem the dude was just crying on a podcast You can save that shit for somewhere else. <laughs> and he also admitted to having writers multiple times now on the track. Nolan Boyd. Em Dude, if Eminem says one more thing, I'm afraid Benzino might just do something to just not be here anymore, which I don't wish that upon anybody, no matter how evil or vile they are or divisive they are. I don't wish that on anybody. Eminem's probably doing him a favor by not responding or saying a damn thing. Let's keep it a buck. I wanted to check this out, man. Uh, thanks for watching the revisit with me. I didn't break down the bars like before, but I had to check out the cadences. That was my focus this time was the cadences. And God damn, dude. Show love to Eminem. Go like, go subscribe. And what did you guys think? Comment down below. And uh, yeah, man, I can't wait to check out more music from Eminem. Uh, let's just say... I've heard he's working on something. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. I'm leaving it at that. I love you guys. Be safe. Thanks for watching with me. God damn. That was rough.